Okay, so this is James Synth. And man, this is the era that kept on giving in terms of the awakening at this moment. And on this note, everyone force promised a useless New Year's resolution altogether as a world society. And after all the events had endured, everyone had now came to the conclusion on what 2021 truly is a total crap show of the no brave. Everyone can at last collectively say, screw 2021, F 2021. That's right, screw 2021. Oh, oh, can this year 2020 get any worse? Says the majority of the world. And man, 2021 finally made my prideful life even more fulfilling. They also say, oh bull. And I man will laugh at the face of that. It was just a deadly after statement after the crap that endured months after the New Year's clock struck midnight. January 1st, 2021. And just like a press of a magic button, all pre-pandemic notions would return. The world rejoiced in sham relief, trying to show optimism and hope and never work to be greater. Only to end up deflected to the fire where it belongs. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Oh, for man's sake, please someone roast or at least get his parents to do it so we can get back to fake ways laughing on our arrogant content and get back to normal. Shut up. Just shut your pride up. So in this stream, this is a truthful recap of every last event in 2021. The real metaphor of 2021, the year no human needed. So certain elements of the real metaphor will be taken from the real metaphor of 2020, the future for all truth. YouTube in response have chosen for the video to vanish for just the obvious truth that all people know at this rate. Check the Odyssey link in the description. So stay around to know what it really means for you and the future. Because wasting your time on meaningless ignorance, just like most of you did in 2020, no lie, is never getting you any. The through So let the story of 2021, the story will begin with all the major controversial events of the year, as well as the brave future we achieved. Not by hope, with no works. The story had started with a promise that was almost never fulfilled, yet many people grasped on to the detrimental mentality that damaged the chance at a greater future and normalcy. Remember James 2.14 through 26? Yeah, 2021 will be obviously superior just because you want to protect your ignorance. The same mentality that MSM and the left have used since 2020 due to the tactics that worked has gotten completely stupid and a major disservice for the truth. So anyway, this will be a recap, a greater lesson to be learned. From. Number one, January 6th. The average human, January 6th, yes, it is a dark day in the U.S. next to 9-11. For Democrats, J-6 is the story of their core report because of the quote-unquote attack on our democracy. Donald J. Trump had led the rally to quote-unquote overturn the election fraud of the 2020 election. The election fraud to be seen here, the MSM are the only ones who rigged the election. Clearing the way for Joe Biden's presidency from only a few writers, not all the protest. Trump wasn't dead yet. Just on a new platform. Number two, the SJW slash woke mob takeover. February and March, the cancellation slash full outrage of certain media like Dr. Seuss and Mr. Potato Head must go on because stereotypes and systemic oppression that was never even true. And upon opening the narrative, you're a bigot. And also, less representation in the media without a lecture of the message is a, maybe that's the reason that you will never earn a fan base nor gain the loyal respect of your loyal fans. Next up, the MLB All-Star Game have been moved out of Atlanta due to Georgia's quote-unquote new voting law that quote-unquote targets minorities. Hey, Joe, I'm an intermediate sports sports that often. Listen up and listen good. Keep Paul tricks out of the all-star ball game. Yeah, so Pride Month. 
by far the wokest Pride Month in history. You know what went down. Follow us Pride Pride. Period. Continue. Critical race theory and the exposing and the exposing of the forced mental health detriment to our children in the public school system. The public school system is now an honest fiasco for education. The children of today have been honestly been fighting to stay awake, and most of them are living the pain for the future. Number four, the relaxation with causation. Hey, James, now that the coup phone was ending, you just have to end the video here because life is getting back, because life is back to normal, so deal with 2021 being a better year after all. Oh, yeah. If you were a useful idiot to the system and your hedonism rely on the government to pay and repair you, although the great daily doses of greatness already, and I bet you already know what that means when I say that term. But anyway, although the great daily doses of greatness already and life is returning, don't go pro 2021 just yet, although you already made that ignorant decision, many people have been Many people have been forced for two years since 2020 to be front row seated, watching their liberties and medical freedoms being taken away. The scenario is like a secret agent stealing a baby from the parent with no consent and lying to her that the agent is going to take special great care. Only to find out that MSM had been lying to you since 2020 through May 2021. This was apparent from the start. Only to find out the parent had found her baby was stolen stolen by a higher state of power and now fought back to take the little one back. That's what bravery is and encourage you to do the same and encourage you to do the same. One's questioning me, Pharma, for the you know what? You could have been forced to say sayonara to your YouTube slash social media accounts. Yeah, continue to do that right thing to censor us normal human beings for just expressing our medical concerns more open and for MSM to join the gang to mock us in doing so. Number five, Delta and Omicron. The summer is here. And at Tokyo 2021, Olympics are underway. Athletes from the US and Japan and around the world and the world have been gearing up for this monumental deal, even though it was seized by the SGW slash world mob. However, a new variant is coming for you. That's right, Delta. Panic mode engaged for the left and many had been on a quest to cancel the, to cancel the Olympics. Many state that if you receive the dose or have natural immunity, you're safe. The Tokyo 2021 Olympic show has gone on. And even though that was never enough fear injection, even and even though the elite's tactics were growing weary and maladroit. They needed another Greek alphabet letter. 15. Omicron. Man, just when we thought we are together again, many have been shouting, another variant? Yes, they need more politics to insult the natural immune. However, in all the wake of this fear injection, and alongside the same tactics they've used used time and again that they've worked in 2020. There's an absence of truth and evidence that Omicron is deadlier than Delta. Or you still have a booster to get just to return to normal. Number six, cicadas and the murder hornets. The cicadas had returned in May of 2021 after 17 years in the area. However, way more in amount than the murder hornets that everyone was forced to fear. And the evidence had proven that there was only like a quarter of the population of murder hornets compared to the cicada killers. So yeah, only a minor risk. Number seven, the story that defined 2021. The U.S. and Afghan war end. Only with the U.S. surrender. Man, the events have never subsided yet. On August 2021, this was the most ignorant and traumatic experience yet anti truth foreign action ever committed in U.S. history. The U.S. Afghanistan, Afghanistan debacle. The motive of that action was to quote unquote end the U.S. Afghan war of 20 years. There's no shock that the event played out at the 20 year commemoration aisle. At a
the soldiers would need for the protection area for the Af for Americans and Afghans. 20 year beef with no attack from the Taliban, from ISIS and the Taliban. This is the exact same event as Saigon. So now with the added arrogance, the cost of the lives or two trillion in damages. Some even held for dear life on the planes. Some descended to their death. Can you tell me that 2021 is still great? You idiot. Joe Biden himself should be him. Joe Biden should be held accountable for the Tehran's committee. And so the fire has risen to the height of the destruction of 2021. A certain chant is a chant of the year. The one that defined the Chronicle, will I say? The Chronicle. The one that chronicled everything there is to know about this control, about this current state of affairs. Let's go, Brandon. Development. Stop. Number eight through 10. Cal Rittenhouse, the inflation, and the MSM metaphor of 2021. The only event from the BLM 2020, June through August, insurgents that had a change in the course of self-defense is the one himself. Cal Rittenhouse is the one out of the many riders. Well, Cal isn't a rider, but you know what I mean. Proceeding in crystal clear self-defense, Joseph Rosenbaum, the convicted you know what? Escape prison for long enough. And then an Anthony Hoover slashed Cal unconscious with a skateboard. The two met their fate in the hands of Kyle. Gage Gross Cruz, the third, is the only survivor. Then, 13 months later, the trial had begun. The prosecution had been catering all to the left, unraveling all the narratives from their belt gun control, and video games, Call of Duty, and the silence is violence. And thankfully, the judge rebuked the prosecution on that major mistake. The trial should have never occurred. Again, not saying that he should be guilty before. Although political beliefs are never evidence, every, any evidence of self-defense should be an automatic innocent. And Cal Rittenhouse is a great example. Period, point blank, and a story. Move on. Now moving on to inflation. The inflation had been taking effect now with gas prices, product costs, and the supply and the supply chain fiasco. Now you can all say Build Back Better is the plan responsible. Inflation will just proceed on until the risk is high. For the Great Depression 2.0. So mainstream media has been shifted to the radical left in terms of reshaping history in real time for their narrative. The reports on any news in the current media with their racial politics and detrimental propaganda have been overtaking all public course, especially the quote-unquote most dominant strain of the virus. Only crime. They only cared about the case amount and not current cases, no hospitalization and death. There's no shock that CNN and MSNBC had both the COVID-19 death ticker and the dose amount. This is a genuine example of fear injection from the start. They never gave 20 cares about you. Media now is about election white privilege, stomach racism, and gun control. All to protect feelings and minorities from further harm. Many leftists have been in support of lockdowns that have been causing the trauma and depression in 2020 through 2021. The liberal areas have been pro-lockdown, pro-new normal. And that new normal will end in 2022 for the favor of valor. So yeah, I'll bring you all the evident events of 2021. All evidence and sources in the description. Yet you inept goons. Yet you inept goons. Claim still that 2021 has been still great. Compare the events to 2020. Number one. The major one. COVID-19 and lockdowns. Number two. Murder hornets. Number three. The fear injection. And number four. George Floyd and BLM protests. A.K.A. Right. Summer 2020. Go. Now compare that to the events of in 2021. Number one. January 6th. Number two, the SGW slash woke mob takeover. Number three, the U.S. spending spree. Number four, the front row seat for all freedoms being taken out of our valor. 
Number five, the Delta and Omicron fear injection. Number six, the cicada killers as of May 2021. Number seven, the U.S. Afghan war surrendered to ISIS and the Taliban. Number eight, Gower and House. Number nine, inflation. And number 10, the dark MSM narrative and no plans to care for the future of truth. The true conclusion of the fact, four events in 2020 to 10 events in 2021 that determined the future of the U.S. and the world. And the battle man's place in the bet now that almost all you degenerates who've never done research on this before have been ignorantly forcing yourself to make a quote-unquote 2021 year review only for that year review to be a good one for you. There's no shock that the infographics show had two videos. Why 2021 will be terrible and good? Only for them to remove the good news one. Also, there's no shock Google canceled YouTube Rewind 2020 and 2021 and you used 2020 as an excuse. Mr. Beast done the maladroit favor. The Valor Man is placing the bet now. That man's to create a second rewind, this time celebrating the greatest achievements of the year. Everyone has bought into the arrogant pity party. There's literally almost half to celebrate in 2021. This is the one no human needed. The ultimate death to 2021. Okay, so. How can you have the courage to at last move on? There are many true options. Number one, pay for most of the costs yourself and save at least some money to help the important people. However, only if they make the commit to change. Homeless people, the ones who escape dark abuse, have experienced far worse than just social isolation. And to know that more must be done at a greater level. Number two, don't put your trust in activist groups, nor organizations and movements that only fulfill victim status and deceit and not for truth. For example, BLM, climate activists, the alphabet community, and defund the police. Most of these movements will make you depressed and have no sense of bravery left. And in that aftermath, the destruction of public course. And everyone had seen the trust in these movements, in the movements, for zero reason. This is the bleed over effect of social media into the real world. And not just politics, into trends also. The left is going to continue on until all of the real world is under their new order. And also, when more people had joined the awakening, the MSM will be dead due to the decision, due to the decision to make people depressed with the untrue news. Now you see the end result of the coercion of the support of a corrupt government. All for feelings and ball tricks and never for truth and true action. That's all for the stream. Thanks for joining the Valor Man. The time to make a useless maladroit New Year's resolution that you tried since 2021 that no one commits to fulfill nor cares is completely long since done. And that's the real metaphor of 2021. The true valor is in 2022. For 2022, we'll make your dreams come true. This is James Seth. Yeah. This is James Seth.